What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So my Tesla advisor, sales advisor just hit me up and I think I might have found the perfect Model Y that kind of checks off a lot of boxes. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the deposit. And I think I got a pretty good discount for this Model Y. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the deposit. So in this video, we're gonna go through this whole process of me going through the buy screen, clicking deposit, going through the financing portion of it, seeing what rates we can get, and walking you through this whole process of buying a Tesla Model Y, and then hopefully at the end of it, taking a delivery, and I believe it's a home delivery these days because of COVID. So I don't really have to go anywhere, and, then and my Tesla Model Y will just show up at the doorstep, which would be really cool because I've never actually experienced that. So check down below for all the different chapters of this video where we're gonna go through the different parts of buying a Tesla Model Y in 2021. And comment below if you have any questions or if you're trying to go through this same process. So welcome back to the channel and thanks for watching another video and let's get into it. Thanks for watching another video guys. If you're new here, my name is Dennis. I used to have a Tesla Model 3 Performance that I actually just sold. I have a Nissan GTR as well, and I make videos about my experience. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. So this is it. It's a 2021 Model Y that my Tesla sales advisor actually found for me. This is like the fifth or sixth discounted Model Y that she actually found for me. I'll make another video of how to get discounts on a Tesla Model Y if you're interested in that. But this is a Tesla Model Y in Newport Beach, which is actually pretty close to where we're at. It only has 883 miles. It's a 2021 demo, which I actually really wanted because the 2021 has different changes like new headlights, a different center console, and just a lot of different smaller stuff as well. So I really wanted a 2021 instead of a 2020 because a lot of the other demos were actually 2020s instead of 2021. And this one has a $3,100 discount, but it does have 883 miles, which isn't actually too bad. But I'm gonna go ahead and click buy, put down the $100 credit card deposit, and then we'll go through the next steps, which is actually just financing. The one thing is my two colors of choice were actually black and then blue, but blue is actually perfectly fine as well. But the other thing I really wanted was the white interior, which this one doesn't have, but, but it's okay. I still get a $3,100 discount, so I'll be okay with the black interior again. Jumping to the financing portion, I actually just finished it, and it looks like the credit decision is actually pending, so we'll wait for that. Oh, actually, no. It's, so I just got approved for 2.49% APR at 72 months with, I guess, US Auto Bank. But the one thing that people don't actually know is you can actually email Tesla Finance at this email address, which I'll put on the screen and down below. And they can actually rehash or recheck other banks for your auto loan to see if you can actually get another rate. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and see what they actually come back with. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like they were able to beat the 2.49% because I do have the GTR on loan as well. So it looks like one of the other banks, Wells Fargo, wanted a trade in for that vehicle to possibly get a lower rate. But I guess I'll go with the 2.49%. I really wanted under 2% because I did see somewhere else that another Tesla buyer was able to get 1.79%, which is actually pretty crazy. But I'll go with the 2.49% just through Tesla financing because it would just be a lot quicker and smoother through the process. My last Tesla Model 3 purchase, I went through Bank of America, which going through another bank or an outside bank kind of can slow the process instead of going through Tesla financing. If you go through Tesla financing, everything is structured and you should be able to take delivery of the car pretty quickly. All right, so I just finished the Tesla financing and everything is pretty much set. I'm talking to my sales advisor now to figure out when I can take delivery and today is basically Thursday at 5 p.m. and it sounds like I might be able to take delivery or it might be delivered tomorrow as soon as tomorrow, which would be insanely crazy. So, so let's jump to tomorrow to the home delivery portion and see if it actually can get delivered with no issues. So Tesla just called me and it sounds like they're gonna deliver my Model Y today, which is pretty freaking crazy. Today is, I guess, delivery day. It's about two o'clock on a Friday and I basically just started this Model Y purchasing process just for the past 24 hours. I think I was talking to my sales advisor yesterday 
locking down the car and finalizing payment financing and all the registration stuff. So now it's Friday and Tesla called me this morning saying, hey, we could actually probably deliver your car at like 2.30 p.m. today. Are you gonna be available? I was like, yeah, I guess I can be around and take delivery of the car. They kind of talked through the whole experience and that they're gonna leave paperwork there and that the advisor that's dropping it off is probably not gonna stay for too long and just gonna catch a ride back. I wonder actually how they're gonna get back, maybe Uber or something like that. But they're gonna leave paperwork there. They'll maybe walk through a little bit of the car, but they say that the whole delivery process is gonna be on the screen of the Tesla Model Y. I'm pretty excited to see this car. It's a Model Y performance demo that has been a demo at Newport Beach. It's got like 886 miles on it. I did get a $3,100 discount, but yeah, it's blue exterior with the black interior. I really wanted white, but I guess I'll take it because it is a nice, pretty nice discount. And yeah, this is gonna be pretty cool because I'm a little bit afraid of the 21 inch rims. Hopefully they're not too damaged because it was a test drive vehicle, but we'll see when it gets here. And this has just been a crazy process so far from ordering to delivery within 24 hours of just hitting submit online, which is pretty crazy. So hopefully when they get here, we'll see how the car is, what condition it's in, and hopefully everything goes well with the paperwork and we can just be on our way. 20 minutes, uh, 22 minutes given like I'm gonna call you when I get to the gate, correct? Oh, you can just roll right up and I'm actually already outside, so I'll just wait for you here. Fantastic, I'll see you soon. Um, just make sure to have your driver's license on hand. Okay, perfect, sounds good. Talk to you soon. So it looks like he's on his way. But I think they're gonna be coming up this way. Hopefully they get here soon and we'll work through all the paperwork and the delivery process. They didn't really bring a checklist this time, even though I should, but I'll paste the link below to the checklist that I'm just gonna be using probably later on so we can go through it. Oh shit, and there it actually is. Dang, there is my Tesla Model Y. All right, let's go check it out. Dang, it's actually not too bad. It looks pretty clean. You can feel the wax on it. These rims are humongous. Not too shabby. I really like the blue. Yeah, I'm pretty scared of these rims actually. Hey, what's up? How are you? Good, good, good. Okay, so you want to go onto the website real quick. Okay. And then um, once you've clicked manage next to your car, it should let you accept the delivery. So he just left the Tesla sales advisor. It looks like they take an Uber back, which I guess kind of makes sense. But this car is actually like pretty freaking clean. Like I'm actually super surprised. There's actually not a lot of swirls at all. It's pretty much flawless. Like take a look at this tip. I'm used to like swirls all over the paint and stuff, but this one is actually like really freaking good. Like, I was gonna have the Tesla delivered straight to a shop so they could do a paint correction and ceramic coating, but it, I really can't see any swirls whatsoever. Maybe, maybe because it's kind of cloudy out, which is sucks for a delivery day like this, but I really don't see any swirls. Let me know if you guys can see it in your camera, but it's pretty freaking good. Like I might just need to just get ceramic coating on it and then, then maybe I'm I'm good after that but these wheels they're freaking huge like 21 inch i'm pretty scared of driving with these i'm actually probably going to go to my friend's dealership right after and buy wheel and tire insurance for these he said it's going to cost me about like 500 bucks for like a couple of years of coverage but you can see here that the rim sticks out a little bit over the tire so i'm a little bit scared of curbing these but this is pretty crazy This is definitely gonna get some getting used to of this bigger trunk space. 
looks like this is a little bit off, kind of like my first impressions. I haven't driven it yet. Probably gonna take it for a spin right after this, but there's definitely a lot more interior space, which is kind of nice. You can see that the seats are on risers right here to get that more elevated feel. It's got that new car Tesla smell. This is my first time sitting in it. Oh wow, the navigation screen is definitely gloss because I don't have a matte protection film on it, but this is the brand new 2021 center console, which feels a little bit nicer than my other one. It feels more solid. I got my paperwork here that I have to send back to Tesla and mail back after I sign some of the documents, but this is it. It's basically the same as my Model 3. This was slight changes. So I definitely wanted white interior, but I guess black will be fine. It's probably better for the dogs. And since it's gonna be my daily driver, it won't be as, get as dirty as quickly. But another cool thing, since this is a 2021 version, it has the dual pane glass. So I can't wait to see if this is actually quieter or not on the highway. There's a lot of small things that they changed that make it a lot cooler, like this matte side thing. The door sills are more matte and even the controls are more matte. Um, so it's definitely like a cooler, sleek feel, including the color, the blackout on. It's pretty amazing that I basically just clicked submit order or submit payment yesterday at five o'clock. And today, less than 24 hours later, it's three o'clock right now. I've got paperwork in hand, the car's in my driveway and it's pretty much ready to go. It's my car and I haven't really, I just basically did everything online. So it's a pretty crazy process how quickly that this getting, taking delivery of this car was. It's probably not typically what happens. Usually it's like a week or two from, or even a couple months from when you actually click submit order. But luckily everything kind of lined up and now the car is just in my driveway and about to go drive on it for my first kind of impressions. So pretty crazy what Tesla has done. And also on top of that, there's a tutorial here in which they can basically, in which they basically go over the whole car for all the different things that I probably already know a little bit about because of the Model 3, but I can go into like the keys, the touchscreen tutorial, and I'll learn everything about the car without anybody else being here. So this is gonna be my first drive in the Tesla Model Y. It's actually funny, my last one didn't have this uh, speaker thing. You can kind of hear it. You guys hear that? It's like a UFO sounding type of thing, but my last one didn't have that sound. It was actually kind of funny that I have it. So this is my first drive in the Tesla Model Y performance. My steering is on heavy right now. And of course the guy left it in sport. I bet he was driving it pretty fast all the way here. So let's, let's go ahead and set some of these to what I like. So, so let's go chill and comfort. And then let's drive it. We're gonna drive it for a little bit here and just to get a feel for it. And then I'm just gonna park it for a few more days until I can come back and do kind of like a checklist review of the Model Y. So yeah, I can definitely feel the roughness of the big wheels and the suspension, especially after coming out of, I've been driving a Lexus RX for a few days. So it's definitely way more smoother, but it's, uh, I can feel, I can definitely feel some of the bumps right now. Uh, but it, you do, you still do get like an SUV feel, clearly more higher than a Model 3, but it's, it's so far, it's, it's basically the same. Uh, just like a little bit different. Let me adjust some of the steering wheel. Yeah, I, I think it, the visibility is pretty good. In terms of the front, you got this big windshield all around, but then the visibility of the back is super small. It's like that bit, you can barely see. But good thing you got these mirrors on the side and this camera, camera right in the middle showing you what's around you. I don't have the full self-driving, I think. Yep, no, so just autopilot and premium connectivity for at least another year. But uh, this is it. This is my first road test of the Tesla Model Y. And yeah, I mean, it's basically the same as you could expect of a Tesla Model 3, but just a little bit higher into the suspension. I definitely like this feel of it being a little bit elevated. And so I'm just really, I'm just gonna drive it for a little bit. The steering feels a little bit heavier than my Model 3 or what I'm used to, maybe because I just came out of the Lexus, but it's, it feels nice. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, Tesla's drive kind of smooth, even though the suspension is a little rough, but they drive pretty smooth on the roads. In terms of like the window pane glass, I don't necessarily hear or feel too much of a difference. It's still kind of loud. You still hear the wind noise, but maybe it's like slightly better than my last one. We'll really start to see it when we start filming those autopilot in traffic videos to see if it's much different than my Model 3. All right, here's the true test. Let's see how the turning radius is on this. And it's still pretty bad. 
So just like the Model 3, the turning radius kind of sucks still, but just takes it just takes getting used to. You got to go a little bit more wider than the other cars you're using. It's not a bad problem to have. So yeah, this is my Tesla Model Y Performance. I just took delivery today. I'm gonna come back in a few days to film an entire inspection list video to go over every single thing to see what's wrong with it. It looks pretty good right now. There isn't too many scratches on it. Uh, the, some people report of like a hood kind of being different, but you can, yeah, actually you kind of see that this one is a little bit closer than that. Um, but besides that, it's actually a pretty clean car, definitely exceeding my expectations. So we'll see when we come back to this car and go through that inspection list. But I'll probably do a more in-depth review with going over this car with a checklist, but this is just the initial impressions, the delivery of my brand new Tesla Model Y. And please subscribe if you wanna see more of this type of content. I'm gonna be making tons of videos on the Model Y performance that I got, including how much I paid. So check that out and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.